Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India A generic approach to uh, uh, the exploration of quantum dynamics using time dependent perturbation theory, time dependent perturbation theory which we have already introduced in the earlier uh, module, module uh, 6 in module 6 we have introduced it and we are going to use the final form. But before we use that we will just remind uh, the basic uh, features so that we can um, understand why and what are the context uh, based on which this perturbation theory was developed and, uh, and how we are going to use that. So, what assumption we make here in this, in this entire problem is that uh, this is a general, generic approach I will just show any time when we use this time dependent perturbation theory this is the approach we should follow. Um, we will assume that First we assume that the quantum system in absence of perturbation, so there is a perturbation in this case this is constant interaction potential. So this H dash is the perturbation, uh, uh, weak perturbation but assume that in absence of perturbation. This is an important point uh, uh, to understand first uh, because this will enable you quickly employ time dependent perturbation theory if you, if you have this idea very clear. So first you assume that there in absence of um, the perturbation that interaction process in absence of the perturbation. Uh, the system is in a stationary stationary let us say in state of the unperturbed Hamiltonian. So, before the interaction process I will assume that my system is in n state that particular discrete state and uh, this discrete state how do I get that discrete state? In fact I can get all the discrete all the states which are available um, uh, by um, all these states which are available in other words the spectrum of the system from the Hamiltonian unperturbed Hamiltonian using the time independent um, Schrodinger equation. So, uh, all possible states can be explored using time independence Schrodinger equation which is H naught psi k naught equals e k naught psi k naught. So, k is 
let us say k is starting from 0, 1, 2 like this way and one of the states is actually n state, discrete n state. So, one can get this states from the unperturbed Hamiltonian where perturbation has not been introduced and um, yet and uh, we can get that. So, this this one is the uh, Eigen state of the system and this is the Eigen um, uh, energy, the energy of the Eigen state, corresponding Eigen state. So, th this is something which is before t less than 0 which means it is I have not started the perturbation, I have not introduced the interaction uh, yet. So, all possible states can be obtained from this in, um, unperturbed Hamiltonian. Then, then the process of interaction, the process of interaction between two states is turned on at t equals 0. And what are the two states? The two states which are available. Here I have some states which are available. So, n state let us say I will erase all the states, I do not need all these states, this is just for information. Now, I have um, uh, all states can be obtained directly from time dependent, time independence orange equation, but let us say I have n state and then there are other states also. I will call it let us say m state and here my intention is that this all the states can be obtained from time independence orange equation, but interaction between these states how these two states are getting coupled and inter interacting they have to be coupled then only they can transfer the population. So, that coupling interaction process will start at t equals 0 time and a weak perturbation which is represented by this starts acting on the system until t equals t 1. So, within this interval 0 to t 1 interval this interaction process will be acting and during this time this, this 0 to t 1 time the system is time evolving as a function of time because they are coupled now. So, the time dependent time dependent Schrodinger equation during this time interval this 0 to t 1 when the interaction process is going on during this time interval time independent Schrodinger equation uh, uh, during this interval and this is the interval when the interaction process is on during this time interval only the time dependence Schrodinger equa equation will give me instantaneous wave function instantaneous wave function i h cut
h not plus h dash psi x t. So this psi x t is the instantaneous wave function. This is the instantaneous wave function wave function at any instant of time during 0 to t1 time. So, during this time when the interaction process is on, during that time only I need to find out the wave function and how do I get the wave function from this time dependent Sorringer equation. And as we know that this particular wave function time dependent Sorringer wave function can be um, expressed in terms of its uh, available stationary states. So, psi x t is expressed as summation of c k t e to the power minus i e naught e naught k t by h cut psi k 0 x that is the way we do that. So, uh, instantaneous wave function is nothing but a superposition state and superposition state and, and we are taking uh, so superposition of all available states and 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 this c k there is a meaning of c k here what is the meaning of c k c k is the contribution of each state in the end it will it will um, in for the population so c k t whole square uh, absolute square, absolute value so the square of absolute value of c k t will give me the population in kth state. So, this is the general idea of, uh, of any time dependent perturbative approach where we will first find out all the possible states available associated with unperturbed Hamiltonian that is the spectrum of the system and before the interaction then interaction process will be turned on at 0 time and it will be kept on for a particular certain time. During this time interval the wave function will be time evolving and how can I get the wave function? Wave function can be obtained from this TDAC. This is the instantaneous wave function at the time when this interaction is going on. And this wave function is expressed as a, a linear combination of all stationary states where this expansion coefficient is related to the population, final state population, I mean the st population of a particular state. So, uh, using that uh, if we say that okay, I had n initial discrete state and I had another state m um, and interaction process started. Um, so, what we will do is that transition from a discrete initial state n to a discrete final state m due to perturbation which is the interaction acting from t equals 0 to t equals t1 time. Until t1 time 
it was acting and question is what is the final state population. So, population at the final state m at time t equals t 1 just immediately after after the interaction process is turned off. is turned off. At that time, we will check the population uh, in the final state and population is given by this uh, the magnitude square. Uh, this is this is the result of time dependent Schrodinger first order time dependent perturbation theory and um, uh, where uh, we have this uh, W m n uh, sorry omega m n is given by the energy difference by this. So, this is this is something which we get directly from time dependent um, first order perturbation theory or in other words I will just um, simplify this one as e to the uh, i by h cut 0 to t 1 time e to the power. So, the population depends this population depends on entire history of time that is why we have to integrate this time. Okay. So, this is another point to be noted here the population depends entire history of time, time of interaction. That is why we are integrating and um, so this is represented as i omega m n t then this entire um, uh, integration part we will just write down as m n d t where h m n dash is nothing but this this spatial integration this integration is over uh, space. So, this is the term which allows the interaction between between psi n 0 and psi m 0 these two states this is n state this is m state interaction between this, these two states. So, because we said that the, um, we have only um, constant as we have pointed out before that this interaction occurs due to non adiabatic coupling. So, this H the, the form of H dash is that it is a non adiabatic coupling. So, it is a constant it is it does not depend on time. So, because it does not depend on time we can easily integrate this uh, expression and uh, because h dash is a constant it is not it, it does not depend on time. So, we will integrate it we will stop here and uh, we will uh, continue this session um, in the next meeting.